In this video, I want to show you how to debug a React application with the VS Code debugger and enhance your debugging workflow. When you use the debugger that comes with your browser, you have to jump around a lot, from the code editor to the debugger, then back to the code editor and so forth. When you use the debugger that comes with VS Code, that's much easier. You can mostly stay in VS Code for the debugging and watch the application in the browser. So how do you get started debugging in VS Code? First, we need to create a launch config. This is very simple. VS Code can do it for you. You just select Web App Chrome, and this is it, actually. We have an XJS application that's running on port 3000. So we need to adjust this URL here. If you have a create React app, for example, where the source code is in the source folder, you also need to adjust this. But the code for this application is in the root. So I will also rename the name here just to make it a bit shorter. And now save. And you can see that we have a run Chrome um, launch config here. If you want to add more configurations, you can simply use the uh, IntelliSense here and, for example, use the Chrome Attach. We don't need that here. So let's run our launch config. This will start a Chrome instance in debugging mode. And as you can see, the app is not running yet. So let's run it here. Refresh, and here you can see it. Now I prepared a page here and as you can see now, we have a bug. The fixed version of this page should look like this. So how do we debug this? First, there are two pieces of important information. The first one is the error message, can I read properties of null. The second one is the file and the line. We can see the code here already. Now let's open this file. It's actually as easy as clicking this link. And here we have the file. Now we would like to understand what the problem is. So let's add a breakpoint here and restart the code execution. As you can see, it stops here. The issue, we can see it in the variables panel here. This one is defined actually. So let's continue. This one as well, this one as well. So we realized that there are quite some issues here and we don't want to step through every one of them until we reach the null. How can we achieve that? The easiest thing to do is to add a conditional breakpoint. So here we can just write the condition issue is, issue is null and continue execution and voila, here the issue is null. Now we didn't get much more information than from the error message, but at least we confirmed the issue. So let's try to get to the root cause. In simple JavaScript applications or functions, you could just follow the call stack. But here you can see that we end up in React internals. The same would be possible with stepping out the function, but this also ends up in React internal files. So this isn't an option, but we can make use of VS Code's global search. So here we can see this is the only component that renders issue row. Let's add a breakpoint here. Restart the code execution. And here we can see the items array. There's a null value here. Our assumption is that this null value causes the problems. So before we start digging into the code and changing stuff there, we can simply copy a value here and edit this one. Here you can see that we have an object here instead of the null value. Continue with the code execution. And you can see that the problem is fixed. These two are now duplicates of each other. Okay, so we found the problem. We can simply filter these items here for null values and then we're done. But is this component the best place to add this code? Let's try to get closer to the data source. So you, we can see that the issue page is coming from this hook. Let's add another breakpoint here, restart code execution, and it stops here. So now if we want to investigate the use issues hook, we can simply step into it. First thing is that we hit a React, React internal file again, but when we continue, we will stop here. So this is the use issues hook, and unfortunately, for some reason, if I add a breakpoint here, so this won't stop there. But at least we found a better place to filter the issues. We can simply do it here. 
And when we save and refresh, we can see that the bug is fixed.